In this video, I'm going to be planning out my January menu using some new to me products and my Google Calendar. If you don't know me, my name is Kristen. I post functional planning videos on my channel three times a week. So if you're new here, please make sure you're subscribed and I'll be right back. is a monthly reusable calendar from MC Squares. This is a new company to me. I don't think they're new in general. I think it's just something I've recently discovered. I think they're most well known for their reusable sticky notes. This is a monthly calendar and it's reusable where you can write on it with a wet erase marker. And I haven't peeled the backing off yet, but once you peel this backing off, it's got a surface that will stick to a shiny surface like glass or metal, but it doesn't stick to you the way a sticker does and it's so easy to remove it. So I haven't tried that yet. We're gonna try it for the very first time in this video, but this is how I'm going to set up my menu plan. I am gonna link my menu planning playlist up here. That is gonna walk you through how I've been planning my menu for the month, especially using Google Calendar. I have been building out my menu in Google Calendar so that I don't have to think about it anymore. I use um, repeating meals without repeating too much. I also use it to link with my grocery list so I never have to write my grocery list again. And if you're interested in that, make sure you check out that playlist. So right off the bat, I really like how this reusable calendar has like this little rainbow gradient. I do, I, I like that. You can see I've done that with my highlighters in the past and um, I just think it's so cute. I don't like that it's a Sunday to Saturday and not a Monday through Sunday. I do prefer a Monday through Sunday view on my monthly calendar, but I thought I would give this a try anyway. If it does turn out to be a deal breaker, I can easily change this with some vinyl that I cut with my Cricut. We'll see, I might not need to do that. As a little reminder, this is how I normally plan out my menu for the month and I put this on my refrigerator. This is mostly just so my son knows what we're having. I look in my Google Calendar. This is really just for his benefit. And also, in a recent video, a viewer commented asking if I could show how I do things when the menu changes at the last minute. And so I don't normally do this like in real life, but I have been doing this for the past six weeks so that I could have something to show visually what I do. So you can see that I have my menu all planned out and there's some things that are crossed out and circled and rewritten. These are, these are times when the menu changed and this is like the realistic, look at how that worked out for us. So for example, this night I had already decided we were gonna have Korean beef bowls and I had already purchased the ingredients to make that because I usually get my groceries on Mondays. So I would have already had the ingredients for that but for whatever reason we did not have it that night and I moved it to Monday night because I already had the ingredients. And Frito pie was something that I had chili in the freezer from the previous night, or sorry, from the previous week. And a bag of Fritos is something that's not gonna go bad in my pantry. And a bag of shredded cheese is gonna be fine in my fridge and I would be able to use that elsewhere. So I, instead of letting the stuff for the Korean beef bowls go bad, I went ahead and moved it to the Monday night. So that is one of the changes that we had there. This was a weird month because my husband and I were on vacation. My in-laws were in our home with our son. So I didn't plan dinners for that week at all. That was on them to figure out what they were eating. And then my in-laws were still in town this week and they were staying with us through Thanksgiving. And so I didn't really know how that was going to work as far as what we were gonna have for dinner. So I still planned my normal repeating things, tacos, breakfast for dinner, fend for yourself, pizza night. I still plan those normal things just in case. And then 
Thursday was Thanksgiving dinner, and then I figured on Sunday we would still be eating leftovers. How it really turned out was this. My husband and I got back into town that Monday. On Tuesday, we went to the grocery store, and that was like a whole ordeal. My mother-in-law wanted to go to Sam's or Costco. I can't remember which one we went to, but this was like the week of Thanksgiving. It was... It was a lot. By the time we were on our way home, I knew we were not, I was not gonna cook dinner that night. And so we stopped at Little Caesars and picked up pizzas that night. So that happened. And then the next night, they had decided, everybody decided randomly they wanted shepherd's pie and I had the ingredients to make it. So I just made it. And then it was Thanksgiving dinner. And then we still did fend for yourself, which ended up just being everybody kind of ate leftovers from Thanksgiving. Saturday I had thought we would have pizza, but we had it on Tuesday, and so this night I had, I had frozen hamburgers and hot dogs, and so we just did those for dinner with some tater tots and stuff, and that worked out. And then this night, Sunday night, we had the chili from the freezer that we were going to have earlier in the month, and then we just had chili leftovers that night. And then we got back to our regularly scheduled dinners. This night we ended up not doing chicken because my son just really wanted ramen. So he had ramen that night. So that was November. And then now we're part, we're halfway through December and we stuck to the plan for the first week. And then I ended up working this day. I'm a substitute teacher and I normally don't work on Mondays but I worked this day and so I wasn't able to go get groceries that day. And so I had thought I would get them the day before and then when that didn't happen, I thought maybe I would do a grocery order. But when I was putting that grocery list together, I realized we had plenty of stuff in our refrigerator and freezer that I could do like a pantry challenge instead of buying all new groceries. And that was actually really helpful because you know, it's a week out from Christmas. There's a lot of expenses this month and everybody like, you know, grocery prices are ridiculous. And so I did not do any grocery shopping for this week. And so this, we had baked potatoes with some more leftover chili that was in the freezer because we had already scheduled to have the Frito pie. When I make chili, it's a huge batch. I get like four, four or five dinners worth out of it. So there's always a lot of chili in our freezer. So that night we had the Frito pie on Monday and then the leftovers from thawing that out, we just ate on some baked potatoes the next night. I had tons of pork chops in my freezer. So I just threw some in the crock pot and we had that with mashed potatoes and some frozen vegetables. The next night, we went ahead and had the breakfast tacos that we were going to have the night before. We stuck with the plan with the fend for yourself on Friday and pizza on Saturday. And then on Sunday, we ended up eating, um, I just made some risotto. And we ate that for dinner. Last night, we ate fried rice. And tonight, we are having tacos as scheduled. And we should have breakfast tacos or something like that tomorrow. And so on and so forth. But this is today, so I don't have any data on whether we are going to have anything different these nights. Except on Christmas Eve, we are going to do our traditional steak and baked potato dinner that I think I mentioned in my December video. Anyway, somebody asked to see how things change and what we do, and it's not a big deal if I'm changing the menu. The menu is really just there so I don't have to think about it. If something comes up or we don't want to have that thing that night, we just don't and we have something else. So it's not really something that I worry about too much. Anyway, there was that. So now let's get back to using this new MC Squares reusable calendar. And I have pulled up on my Google Calendar on my phone. This is my monthly calendar for, and it's got my menu plan on it. Since we have the same thing on these days, I'm gonna draw a line going down just to indicate that it's gonna be the same meal through the whole week on those nights. And this is a marker called Tacky and it's from MC Squares and it's smudge free wet erase is what it says. And this is like a fine tip. This came with the calendar. And I also have a box of six bullet tip markers that I got 
separately and we're gonna try those out as well. But I'm just gonna draw these lines real quick. And so that right away smudged, but I let this one dry and you can see that it didn't smudge. So I'm just gonna lick my finger there and clean this up. I probably should have brought like a wipe or something over here. But so just so you know, if you're gonna use these, let them dry for a second before you try to smudge them. I'm just doing that because this was the first time I'm using them and I wanted to see how they worked. So we've got our lines that are gonna go all the way down. And let me go ahead and draw my arrowheads here. Okay, so that's the fine point marker. And then I'm gonna use these. So this took me forever to figure out how to open. Um, I had such a hard time. Really, you're supposed to, it has instructions here. It says pull and pull, pull this way and this way. And it doesn't, you know? So I think, I'm not really sure. I, I had gotten this open, I figured it out, and now I can't remember. I think I need to pull it from here. I don't think. I'm gonna go ahead and struggle with this. There we go, okay. So it's just very, it's just hard. So you pull it apart like this and then the top pops open and then you're able to use it as like a little stand. So that's kind of nice. So let's put that here and let's see. On Tuesday, I'm gonna use the orange marker because it matches Tuesday's color. And I'm going to write tacos. Oh, this is a nice vibrant color. I thought it, for some reason, I thought it was gonna feel more dry. Like, I'm not sure why. Um, Wednesday is pink, so I'm just gonna use red. And I'm gonna have to write smaller here. We have breakfast. Breakfast for dinner. Okay, and look, my hand went over that orange where it says tacos and it, it rubbed off on my hand. And you can see, maybe you can see the little smudge part where my palm went into that. So that's something to be aware of that happens. So blue is fend for yourself night. And now I gotta be really careful I'm not smudging that because apparently you need to let these dry a lot longer than like maybe your wet, your Erin Condren wet erase markers. Friday is fend for yourself night. And then Saturday, Saturday's on this teal color. So I'm just gonna use black there because I don't have a color to match. I'm gonna use the green on Sunday. Um, so I'm just gonna use the black one for both the yellow and the teal. Saturday is pizza night. So I know I don't need to, um, I only need to fill in the meals for these days. And you know what else I forgot? I forgot to write that it is January up at the top here. So let's do that real quick. Oh, and my hand is already smearing this. So far, these are not my favorite. I gotta, I gotta be honest. All right, January, and there's probably a glare on that, but there you go. All right, so the black one or the green one. All right, now I have to be careful here because my Google Calendar is set up to start on Monday, so I need to be careful that I'm doing it right. This is gonna have enough for your five full weeks, and then in case your first of the month starts like on a Saturday, you have some extra spots down here to finish out your 31st day. I'm going to just copy down real quick what all our meals are.
since I'm left-handed, I decided I'm gonna start over here and go that way, and maybe that will help me not smudge everything so much. You know what I forgot to do that's making me so confused right now? I forgot to add the numbers. Like we need to add numbers and I'm gonna add them in the bottom right corner. I'm already like really having a hard time with this because it's getting everywhere. I'm left-handed so it's smearing and smudging everywhere. Hmm. Okay, so you can see how much, and like I even had to, I got it on this part of my hand somehow. It's all over, like it's a mess. I am, I usually have pen mark all over me, so it's not like a deal breaker. It's just, it's not ideal. This doesn't happen when I use paper and marker, you know? So luckily it is like removable. It's not, it's not like, the end of the world, but it's also, I don't know, kind of annoying. All right, let me go back now and get back to filling in what is for dinner. So now we have the whole menu filled out and let's go test it out on my refrigerator. Well, here, let me blow on this because we don't want it to smear when I turn it over and pull this off. I want to pull, this is smearing. I'm going to let this sit for a minute and I'm going to go wash my hands and when I come back, you'll, I'll meet you at the refrigerator and we'll see how it sticks to my stainless steel but also magnet friendly refrigerator. We are in my kitchen and there are smudges all over my refrigerator because this is real life and I didn't clean it all perfect for you. <laughs> Sorry about that. Here we go. It just sticks. It's not a magnet, it's just a piece of, it's almost like foam. You can see the back of it here. You can see it here. It's kind of like a foam material and it doesn't stick to my finger, but it will stick to the refrigerator. And so that's pretty cool. So that's nice that that's gonna stick there and I don't have to put magnets on it. And it's all just like right there it's not smudging anymore. I had to let it um, dry for quite a bit to get it to not smudge there. But if that's not a big deal to you, then it's still pretty nice. Let's see how easy this cleans up. I'm just gonna get a wet paper towel from my sink right real quick. And um, I'm going to erase, here I'll just erase where I wrote February. And this is just a paper towel that I just got wet in the sink. So that comes off real nice and clean. Looks nice. This is where I made, I smudged it when I was making that line. I'll just kind of clean that up a little bit too. Okay, I like it. It's nice. And I have this little mag magnetized pouch. I got this at um, the container store. It's just a magnet. And I'll probably put my markers in there to keep it in there. I'm not 100% sold on using this instead of my paper calendar I've been using. But for right now, we're gonna try it this month and see. Um, I do like it. I think it's kind of neat. 
And there is our menu for the month. I thought I filmed a outro like I normally do, but I'm pretty sure I forgot to hit record because that is something I would do. So here, just enjoy this still that I'm going to use for my thumbnail. And let me just go ahead and let you know that I did overall like the concept of this reusable monthly menu. I think it'd be awesome if your refrigerator is not magnetized or you just don't want to worry about like scratching it up with magnets or whatnot, or if you want to put it on a piece of glass or something, I think that's really great. I think I will probably continue to just use my paper calendar. Just It just seems a little more practical for me with the left-handed and the smudging and all that. However, I don't think that this is a bad product. So if you're interested in, in it, I will link it below. I did purchase this with my own money. They don't know who I am. I'm going to link it. It's just a regular link. So if you're interested, the link is in the description. Anyhow, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you really liked it, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.